Hey everyone, this is Dr. Raphael Emmerich Salas. I'm your board certified plastic surgeon and this is your plastic surgery nip. It's a collection of videos and important bits of information to help you on your plastic surgery journey. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll give you the power of knowledge so you can make better aesthetic decisions. Today we're gonna to be talking about the deci deciding between liposuction and a tummy tuck. I get this uh, question a lot during consultations about the midsection. I think because liposuction is one of the most popular procedures in the country. Uh, and I think people get confused as to them wanting to have the easiest looking procedure. Um, one of the things to keep in mind is there's a lot of factors that go into deciding one versus the other. And obviously that's why you would have your consultation with your board certified plastic surgeon. Two things I want you to keep in mind are the separation of the muscles. A lot of times in pregnancy, the muscles can separate as, they, as your baby's growing, and once the baby comes out, they'll come back together. However, they rarely come right next to each other, and you can have that space in between that wouldn't allow you to necessarily get as flat of a stomach as you were hoping for, in which case you'd need a tummy tuck to cinch those muscles up. An easy way to test for that is to do a sit-up and see if you develop a worm, then you probably have a pretty decent separation. And then secondarily, the skin quality. If your skin has a lot of stretch marks in it, then liposuction may not be your ideal because what happens when we take out the, the fat that's holding that skin nice and tight, you create a lot of wrinkly skin where the stretch marks used to be, and that may not be your desired look. If you're okay with the wrinkly skin and you just want to use clothes that can show off your curves, then that could work for you. But if, if you're hoping to get rid of that, then a tummy tuck might be the thing for you. Sometimes you can do one procedure and then a few months later do the other, or you could do a combination of both. My preferred is a tummy tuck with a little bit of liposuction on the waist so that you can help create those, those curves and make a nice transition into the now flat stomach. Sometimes you may be a candidate for a full tummy tuck and liposuction all the way around. That's a very unique setting and that's why I would re definitely recommend having a consultation with your board certified plastic surgeon so you can decide if you're a candidate for that type of procedure. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, give us a like or a comment. If you're listening, please give us a rating. We'd really appreciate it. Feel free to send us topics you'd like us to talk about in future episodes and definitely check out my website spsmiami.com for before and after photos and more great content. I'm Dr. Raphael Enrique Salas and this is your plastic surgery nip. Talk to you soon.